Okay, go. All right. Questions about other Elite Series pros. Are you ready? I'm ready. First question. Best grass fisherman on the Elites and why? So, a couple that come to mind first thing. Number one is probably Brian Schmidt. He has won a ton of tournaments fishing grass. Always seems to compete for top tens whenever there's grass involved. Also, Buddy, Buddy Gross, he catches a lot out of the grass and he does also super well out of the grass. And I think they're also good friends. So maybe they have bounced ideas off each other. But both of them, if we go to a grass lake, both of them have definitely have the potential to win no matter where we go, anytime. Okay, second question. This small mouth fish. Probably Seth Fighter. Seth Fighter or Polynick. Brandon Polynick's really, really good at it. I'm gonna give the nod to Polynick, actually. I'm gonna say Polynick. Best smallmouth? Yeah, smallmouth all around. He seems to have had more top tens, catch them a bunch of different ways than anybody. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this, but I probably already know the answer. Best elite live scholar? It's gotta be Taku or Patrick Walters, I would imagine. Patrick was kind of the at the forefront of doing it in tournaments. So, you know, got to give him a little love there. But Taku's also extremely good at it. He really relies on it, big time. Okay, best shallow fisherman. Hackney. He just, he just does it. Everywhere we go, he just does really good doing it. Okay, best current fisherman. I really don't know. I, I honestly do not know. Steve Kennedy's really good at it, but I honestly, we haven't been anywhere. I haven't really talked to anybody. I honestly, I don't know. I think you're pretty good at it. Yep. I would say you. I'm pretty good at it. Okay, best Florida fisherman. Mmm, who's that gonna be? Fisherman from Florida or down in Florida? In Florida. I honestly don't know. Okay, best Alabama fisherman. I also do not know. I know Canterbury knows Alabama super well. He's really good, but I mean, I, I have no idea who's who'd be the best fishing on these lakes and stuff. Okay, who do you talk to that you think has the highest IQ? Oh Lord, oh Lord. I ain't answering that. Hunter? My wife? No, you can answer it. Like, who do you think is smart? Like, none of them. Oh my gosh. There's somebody you think. No, nobody comes to mind that's super, super smart. I really don't know. Okay, who's the funniest? I guess Swindle. Gotta be Swindle, don't it? This is your opinion. I think for a swindle. Swindle. Okay. Who do you think is the best swim bait fisherman? Steve Kennedy. Steve Kennedy. He commits to it. He commits to it when nobody else will and he makes it work. Who do you think could be the best fishing under pressure? I have no idea. We got a lot of pressure all the time, so <clears throat> anybody who competes does good under pressure. You know? Probably one of them guys like Seth Fighter did a couple years ago where he got out to an early lead in AOI and just never had a bad one. You know, like that's that's really impressive whenever you're out to a lead like that. That's about as much pressure as you could probably get. He never stumbled. Okay, so who do you think is like the nicest when it comes to fans? I have no idea. Or who do you think, like, if somebody asked for money or, like, needed help doing something or just genuinely nice, who do you think it would be? I don't know. I don't know. I would say Atkins. Atkins gonna let me borrow $20. I mean, like, a homeless person. Or, like, if somebody didn't have food or something. I could probably borrow twenty dollars. <laughs> oh, I lost that one. Dang it, man. Okay, who do you think is the cleanest 
cleanest. Me. You. Me. I'd have to give that one to Jason. Yeah. He is a germaphobe. Germaphobe. He will wipe his boat down. Nah, after his boat day. definitely. He probably does have the cleanest rig. Who do you think is the best fishing brush piles? You know, with Ford Face Sonar, the gap has narrowed by a lot. I, I truly don't know who would be the best at it. Who do you think is the best at finding schools? Mm. Who always does good in ledge tournaments? Buddy. He's the best at finding them, or he may not be the best at finding them, but he's definitely the best at maximizing on them. Okay. Who has the cutest wife? Me. <laughs> Me, bro. What if, what if he didn't say you? What if I just said somebody else? Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Put me on suicide watch. Might get Clinton out here. Who do you think has the best social media... Uh, Scotty Martin. Appearance. It's gotta be Scott. Got the most followers. I believe. Who do you yeah. think's the most um like eloquent speaker on stage? You gonna have to answer that because I don't watch the weigh ins. You know, I'm always I only watch a few weigh ins. I'm always, you know, waiting my turn or something. So I don't really know how people sound up there. I think you do really well. Okay, that's great. But you gotta say that. Uh, yeah, I do. Let me think of somebody else that does good. When you get them fired up, they are fired up. But when they ain't, they ain't. So what are you doing right now? Give us a breakdown. I'm in while, a ditch. I think of some more questions. I'm in a little ditch just winding over, winding a small little swim bait. Over, oh, the, also over the tops we, of wood. We are on the original small little local lake. First ever small little local lake. And it ain't that small. And it used to not be that local. It's smaller right now though because it's... Um, took some water out of it. It's down a little. Actually it's down pretty a bit. Yeah, took a little water out of it. The OG small little local lake. Throwing a little swim bait at them. Had some bites on it. Caught a couple. Not as good as I want it to be. Oh, I have a question. Who do you think is the best bed fisherman? Got to give it to Cook. He just won this year bed fishing. Who do you think is the best at sharing water? That, I don't know. Definitely ain't me. Definitely ain't me. If, if you were going to get in a fight, who would you want as your backup fighter? Oh, Lord, man. I'll take a big old Texan like Lee Lewis. I, I was going to say Lee Lewis. I'll take him. I want him on my team. And I definitely, second's got to be some raw because he's pretty strong too, looks like. Okay. If you, if you had to outrun a bear, who do you think would be able to hang with you? As far as running goes? Yeah. Probably Carl. Carl Jockinson or Paulinick, they run a ton. They're always exercising. But I don't want nobody faster than me. Yeah. So, so you might need to pick somebody yeah. else. Might have, to, might have to pick them two and me and then somebody slow. <laughs> <laughs> they run a lot though. I can hold my own though. I can run pretty good. Also, I just can't run for a long story. time. One time me and Kyle got chased by an elk and he um, left me in the dust to be ate by an elk or whatever he was going to do to me. Horn me. Okay, if you had to be like stranded in a mountain and had to like fend for yourself for survival, who would you want to be with you? Gosh, I'm gonna say Hackney. Hackney. Yeah. I, I was thinking Carl because you know he does um, he does like wilderness camping and stuff a lot. There we go. That's a nice one. Nice one. Look at that big spot. Gosh, that's a good spot. I just think Hackney lives down there on the on the bayou, you know, and he, he knows how to catch a bunch of different types of fish. 
probably knows how to hunt. I don't think any of them guys that really know how to hunt. That's a nice spot right there. That's a good one. Oh! Look at that spot. That's kind of your way in. There was two or three more with him, and they all were big dots. So I'm going to actually weigh him. What do you think he weighs, Hunter? Give me a guesstimation. 230. He's something close to that, probably. Let's go see. This is a lake where it is pretty difficult to catch big spots. Like it's a three pounder is a really nice one. I think he's like a 211. See it. See it? Mm -hmm. So there it is. 255. So that's a 29. That's a nice one though. That's a really, really nice one for here. Two and a half pounder. A little bit bigger. That's fun though. Gosh. Watching them just tag that thing. Donk, donk, donk. Okay, next question. If the elites were like a partner thing where you had to pick somebody that would have different strengths and weaknesses than you, who would you pick to be your partner? I'll, I'll go ahead and get me Taku first thing. Because I feel like he commits to a type of fishing that I don't. And if me and him both had what we're good at, we'd probably be pretty dialed in, you know? Who do you think has the coolest boat wrap? This year I really like mine. You dig? Got them all back there. Oh Lord, where's my bait at? There it is, way off. Okay, let's say you had to pick a partner to fish and it could be anybody in the entire fishing community like somebody retired or you know fish is something else who would you pick to fish with me yeah i'm taking my boy wheeler for sure man can't lose i'd, I'd like to not be able to lose okay let's say you're going to like a football game or a concert who would you pick to go with you that you think would have the most fun Oh, I don't know about that. Y'all don't have fun at these tournaments. What? No, these tournaments ain't very... They're not that fun. Okay, next. Oh, should I show them your new shoes? Probably not. I got two. Are they lucky already? Yeah, you caught a big spot. These are Kyle's new shoes. Zoom in. Give me a side view. Ooh, ooh. Do you got any questions? Me? Yeah. Questions for myself? I can answer all of them. I don't know. Questions for me? Yeah. Or anything to say in general? I'm about to catch another one of them big old spots, dude. That's a good one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 